Hey everyone, my name is Jordan. We're here and this is going to be week number one of the UBL and this season is going to be a low tier season and it's going to be a ton of fun. I have a ton of mods that I think are going to have a lot of fun together and a lot of mods that I have a ton of fun building with. But with that said, we're going to be up against Kelly under the radar and this is going to be a fun one. So this is actually going to be played on my birthday and in about a week, I'll, I'll be meeting up with him at his wedding, which is going to be nuts. And actually, I guess by the time you guys see this, the wedding will already have happened, which is kind of nuts to think about, but I'm sure it was an amazing time and I can't wait for for it. But we are here to play Bogwan. I've only played Kelly twice. This is an incredibly tough matchup here. I'm going to get right into it, but there's so much to think about and we're just going to see. So we do see the Octillery, Articuno, Wigglytuff, Morpico, Glaceon, and Throw. So that means no Reboot, no Flapple. Those make sense. Uh, no Sand Slash. No Sand Slash is very, very interesting. Probably didn't even bring Hazards. Actually, Wigglytuff could very well have Hazards. No Lycanroc. No Lycanroc is pretty big for me. It's pretty big for me. What would I want to lead off with? kind of want to lead off with the pincer here yeah i was kind of expecting him to want to lead off with sand slash but here he might want to lead weekly tough if he does i can close combat i mean really nothing to close combat well except for the guard articuno but especially early on in the game i don't think he would hard switch that that in uh just that early on i think he would expect me to want to either hard switch in the the zatu or he would go into something else like the the like the throw maybe to resist or something to that effect uh do i have any other honestly the lilligant was kind of here for a lot of the physical threats like the more pico uh which it still can manage okay but i guess it's a it's in a better position because it can kind of deal with the throw a little bit it kind of uh has its roles he here and there uh, the Glaceon will make it kind of difficult, but I think it will be okay, ultimately. It'll be tough. It'll, it'll still be tough, for sure, for sure. Uh, the Glaceon is honestly not going to be the easiest to maneuver, but I do think Pinsir has a legitimate chance to kind of do a ton to his team overall. Now, uh, I'm trying to think. If he... I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. Does go straight out with the Glaceon. Now, I am a banded Pinsir. I have to imagine there's no shot he takes this. But yeah, and honestly, it makes me want to click knockoff. Um, a Specs Ice Beam would straight up KO me. A Specs Freeze Dry is a chance to KO me. But a knockoff would be fantastic for me. I, th I really do think I just click close combat here. Yeah, I'm going to just click close combat. I'm going to click the button that does damage. Does withdraw. Does he go into the Articuna specifically? No, it goes into throw. Yeah, okay. That was more or less expected. Um, I still could have, could have gotten a knockoff off, but regardless, I think this is fine just for early damage. We do get a decent amount of damage. Will this thing be leftovers, question mark? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Probably leftovers. But that was 40% exactly, I think. Uh, I would assume just max HP. Regardless, I think I go into... Oh, this thing is pretty defense invested, actually. But I think that just means that I go into this thing regardless. I probably just get a Leech Seed off, right? You could go into the King... Or not the King, the... Glaceon. Uh, that would be scary. But... I think I managed. It goes for a Toxic straight away. I think that's ultimately fine. It's not great. It's not great. I think he switches out here. Could go into the Glaceon right away. But I'm going to be decently strong here. Oh, I should have taken a screenshot of the team. I have I have, his, I have a screenshot of his whole team, but I, d I didn't highlight the six that he has. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Okay. He has a couple of options here. I kind of want to just get off a of Leech Seed, right? Leech Seed feels like it does enough to pressure most of what he wants to do. Even if he goes into the Articuno, getting the Articuno seeded would be huge. There's the seed. He could Ice Punch me. Um, I am very defensive. Storm Throw. That's totally fine. That's the one that switches me out, I believe, right? Oh, th no. That's the one that always crits. That's the one that always crits. Okay. Okay. I mean, nothing awful has happened yet. Uh, we do know that this thing is super defensive. Which probably means just a decently strong Giga Drain does a, a 
bunch of damage here. And like I said, this thing doesn't really have much of a role other than kind of to deal with the, the more Pico, but I can kind of out damage a more Pico, I think. All right, the big boy's in. The big boy's in. We do get some chip damage off. That's 15%. Uh, that's, it's actually going to be relevant, figuring out what kind of damage that is. 15% is actually no bulk, which is wild to me. I kind of want to leech seed. This thing could easily just sub up on me. I am Koba Bear. No, I, I think it just clicks Air Slash. I honestly think he just clicks Air Slash. Freezing Glare. Okay. We probably take one question mark. This thing could be specs. This thing could honestly be specs. We do take it. Okay, okay. We do get a leech seed off. We will go down, and this will allow us to go into Clink Lang. And I think with the Clink Lang in, we probably just click Volt Switch at that point, right? I think he knows that he's not really doing a whole ton here. Uh, but is there anything I could tell from that freezing glare? Can I actually tell if this thing is specs? Because, uh, uh, um, no, that, sh that that could actually be boots. That could genuinely be boots. Now I could pressure this thing. I could put on pressure by bringing in uh, Kingler, right? Because I think I've weakened it enough where knockoff or liquidation should do it. But I want to kind of stick to the plan a little bit and go into this thing. I th I'm pretty sure this thing is probably boots. If I had to, if I had to guess here. But regardless, I think I can Volt Switch here pretty safely, right? I'm going to try to get some momentum. I think momentum is going to be important. We're already a Mon down. Um, it's not looking the best in terms of how we're going to have to maneuver around his team. But ultimately, I think we can get there in the end. Uh, I really do have to maneuver this carefully. Goes into more Pico, which is fine. I think depending on how much chip damage we see here... I think that's just a Kingler play, right? I think that's just a Kingler play. Uh, Liquidation... Liquidation should KO even max HP. So this thing could be this thing could be scarfed. Uh, if it is, that'd be bad. Uh, but actually, it has to change form, so it'll be slightly less bad. Um, but yeah, nothing on his team really wants to take a liquidation. You could argue the artillery, but even then, uh, I can kind of maneuver here. There's the Scarf Liquidation. Yeah, that's a KO. Okay, that's that's big. That's big. More Pico. Getting more Pico out of the way is huge. You could want to go into the Auxiliary. You could want to go into the Throw. I think those are the two main ones here. Um, Goes into the Auxiliary. Could be an Energy Ball coming out here. Could be an Energy Ball coming out here. Let me pull something up. Um... I kind of want to go into this thing. But well, probably not. I think I'll probably just go into this and get rocks up and kind of start to pressure some things. I think rocks help me out a ton here. For Kingler in particular. And for throw. Click Scald, which is fine. I would ideally like to not get burned, but yeah, okay, we get burned. Uh, I think that actually makes it a 3 KO, which sucks. But... Rocks is rocks. It is rocks is rocks. He probably has Ice Beam. And that sucks, but... We'll deal with it for the sake of rocks. I think the next play... Um, I 
I think we probably take... Huh. Yeah, I think we probably do it in this order. Um... And we can probably just Exeter this time because knowing that I have revealed the close combat means you can probably maybe try to play around it. But I think Banded Exeter just always just does a lot of damage here. Does withdraw. Does withdraw. Goes into this thing, okay. See, he's done a Banded. That does a lot of damage. I think I go directly in Azatu here. I think I go directly in Azatu here. And I think with Zatu. Hmm. He's trying to wish up throw, isn't he? Probably try to get up a wish of my own. But I actually should try to judge based off of that really tough damage. Um There's the Thunderbolt. Okay. Okay, I have to make a play here. I probably scare this thing with with out with this thing. I take whatever hit. I get a sub up. He brings out the throw, which means I probably just click Volt Switch at that point, right? I probably just click Volt Switch at that point. I think for sure he goes in a throw. He's already shown how, how important this, this weekly tough can be. Because it shuts down a lot of my offense. Or at least makes it awkward for a lot of my offense. Now, this thing is... Almost definitely super defensive. But is it in range of a really strong king? Actually, i probably just go back in Azatu here, right? i probably just go back into Zatu. He could expect me to want to click Psychic and go into... And go into... The... Articuno. And I think if he does, I just click Thunder Wave at that point, right? Because he has to know... That Zatu... Does a lot of damage here. Actually, I might not even KO here. I probably take the risk here, right? I probably take the risk. Yeah. I think I can afford a psychic only because I am as fast of a Zatu as I am. And we need damage on onto this throw in order to kind of win this game. Yeah, we don't KO, and I think that's ultimately fine. Um Because. This actually allows... What does this allow? This allows me to go into this thing. Uh, this is a little bit tough, actually. I can probably get away with a Volt Switch. From Clink Lang. It, it's it's honestly risky, but if I can Volt Switch, then I can go into Kingler, and then he can't really go into any. Well, he can go into. He can go into. Uh. Octillery. 
I think regardless, I do this. I think regardless, I do this. And then I probably just click knockoff, right? Knockoff just picks off a K just picks up KO. Withdraws. Just interesting. Goes out into this. Can we two KO after rocks? Yeah, okay. Thankfully we do, because yeah, I was just gonna say I'm pretty positive this thing is specs. And now that we're about to get a Moxie. He can bring in the Wigglytuff, which is going to suck. He could get a Rocks, which is not, I guess, the biggest deal in the world. Yeah, I guess now that Rocks isn't, isn't as much of an issue, it's not as big of a deal. But it's still not great. Goes out into this. Which I think is fine, because as long as he hits me... No, 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 no. No, I, I, I shouldn't even mess with this. He's under pressure, which means he has to attack, which means... I'm going to be able to get an opportunity to try to 1v1 this thing with with a uh, Clink Clang. Yeah, there's the Air Slash. Because I need the offensive pressure in, in, in the late game to kind of win this game in the end. Uh, I'm going to get up a sub. And we can go from there. We know this thing is boots, so it's not... There's the freezing glare. We'll get to see how much damage this does. I go from 142 to 108. One forty two to one oh eight. That's thirty four points of damage. Uh, which means he never breaks a sub. And I can honestly Thunder Wave here, right? Is he even worth it at that point? He probably is. He probably switches out into something. Is it even worth it? I'll click Wall Charge. Just for another Freezing Glare. And I think we come out of this okay. Uh, next hit is going to break the sub. I probably just get up another sub, right? I probably just get up another sub. Or I Volt Switch. Or I can Volt Switch. Does one of those even make remote sense? If I click Volt Switch, then I can go into Pincer, and then Pincer puts on the most damage with close combat. Which honestly makes sense to me. Yeah, that makes sense to me. There's another Freezing Glare. This one's going to break sub. And Pincer puts on the most damage possible. And then from there, I still have a pocket kind of check with my Kling Kling in the back, and Pincer's just in, in a position to do a lot of damage to a lot of things. Or I go into this thing. He probably brings in the Octillery, so it's never going to be great. Yeah, I have to weaken the Octillery a lot. I have to weaken the Octillery a lot. Actually, actually the Octillery probably means that I don't win this with, with Kingler. Which sucks. But we did see that x was dang near close to a, to a KO. Um, but actually, after Rocks, it might just be enough here. <sighs> I don't know. I think... I think I do click x here. Goes for Protect. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So now x is probably going to be a 3 KO, but ultimately, I don't think it matters a whole ton. Because uh, the throw is weakened enough where it doesn't matter. And uh, HP on my 
on my on my pincer doesn't matter a whole ton because I probably don't take a hit from artillery anyway. Oh, but that's why it matters. Yeah, that's why it matters. Okay. And now I probably have to make a super aggressive play. Or do I? Oh, this is tough. Because I think he clicks protect here. And if he clicks protect... Or he could just go into artillery. But even then, it doesn't matter, really. Or I just get enough damage onto the artillery... That... Or I do this. Ah, uh, this is really tough. I think he wants to. I think he wants to pass a wish off to artillery to get it in for free, maybe. Or he gets this up back up for free, in which case it never really matters because he protects anyway, right? So, I think I'm getting a free turn regardless. Goes for the thunderbolt, yeah. So he's just trying to get a free turn for himself, which is fine. Um, I could sub. I could volt switch. I could Thunder Wave this thing. I think I'll just get some dam pump some damage into this thing. And even, have, even if I burn myself out, uh, I think it's okay. I think, I think I've been thinking about this in reverse, because I've been trying to use Pinsir to open the door for my, for my, uh, Kingler, when I should be using my Kingler to open the door for my Pinsir. Uh, and I think that gets me where I need to go. So this is probably a sack, which is fine. He has to go into artillery now, I assume. Uh, and if this is just getting him into artillery, then I just get a, get off a wall charge, and that's probably the damage that I need for this endgame, right? I think. And hopefully I just don't run out, of, run out of time doing it, right? Hopefully I just don't run out of time doing it. This thing comes out. I have no idea what, what kind of... Uh, set this thing would be. I, I'm really tempted to Thunder Wave it, but it's just not worth it at this point. It's really just not worth it at this point. I just have to punt, pump a whole bunch of damage into this thing. That was a crit. That's that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. There's the Scald. But let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna unfortunately take a, take a bunch of time again. But I think I just have to know. Um, what kind of damage that was? Yeah, that had that had to have had some kind of defense investment, and if so, would Kingler potentially do it? Um, no, I think what I have to do. No, I think I have to lock into close combat here. Right? Or can this thing... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could lock, on to, lock into knockoff as well. No, that doesn't... I don't think that makes a ton of sense. Yeah, I think I have to lock into close combat. I think it's at about 40%, which sucks. That's right, that's right around the level where... But yeah, I think locking into close combat just gets me where I need to go. Ugh, th this wasn't as clean as I would have liked, but I think close combat does um, enough damage above and beyond um, what what X Scissor was doing that I think that damage that th that I don't think he's ever oh and the Moxie boost as well. I think that means that he's never going to be able to to wish up past the past the point where Kingler doesn't clean up with a with a uh, end game liquidation. So I think that's how we win this one. I think that's how we win. And yeah, just the just the uh, just the rocks damage helps out a ton as well. Close for the protect. That's fair. I still don't even really know how much defense investment this weekly tough has, which I guess I should be looking out for. But I'm but I'm also going to try to click my move as quickly as I can uh, to avoid any kind of. Endgame dumb stuff. Weekly tough. 
Oh, that's just a KO. Was that a crit? Oh, I hope that wasn't a crit. Okay. Uh, it wasn't a crit, although the crit onto the auxiliary might have mattered. I think. I guess. I, I mean, I, I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to see after the match. But that banded pincer was an absolute menace uh, once again. But that Articuno was incredibly difficult for my entire team. It six would my entire team except for Kling Kling. Kling Kling was the one thing that could save me from getting six would by that Articuno. And thankfully, it was able to do what it needed to do. And even uh, do a ton of damage to the Octillery, which I didn't expect to come. But thankfully, he brought that instead of the Flapple, because the Flapple was really, really difficult for me. And that was kind of what I um, feared when I made this set. But I knew this set was kind of exactly what I had to bring. Um, and I think that crit on the Octillery was a little bit unfortunate. But there should already be a note as to whether or not that mattered. But at the end of the day, I love Kelly to death. I'm going to be seeing him in a week. No matter what happens, I adore him. And this was a really fun match. As always, he was a complete joy to play against. And like I said, I just going to adore him more. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the UPL as well as more weeks of the UPBA, which is a full standard draft. And there'll be plenty more stuff to come as well. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out.